Okay, we're here with John Bannigan, the CEO of Verdon Power, and he's going to give us a quick overview of what's going to happen tonight, and it's his perspective. Good. John? Well, what's going to happen tonight, and then I'll, I'll get a little bit into what's happened preceding tonight. But what we're doing tonight is we have a tri-frame right here. We call it a tri-frame. It's a three-sided foundation on which we have three separate uh, turbines. And the objective of that is to reduce the amount of time that we are working on water. On water work is a very high part of the cost of hydrokinetic, of installing hydrokinetic power. And so the I idea here is that we put in three turbines simultaneously, and that reduces the on water work considerably. The program that we are, are following is specifically to transition from our earlier technology, our earlier stage technology, to what we're calling Gen 5 technology. And the Gen 5 technology uses component parts that are designed for marine renewable energy, whereas our earlier generation technology relied on off-the-shelf componentry. We've redesigned it to work together, to work specifically in the realm of marine renewable energy applications, to be very uh, reliable, to be very durable. And uh, what we'll do is operate the system for a year. We'll put it in the water tonight, and uh, we'll hook it up in a couple of days. And then in six months time, after six months of continuous operation, we will lift the tri-frame with the three turbines out of the water. We will remove one of the, of the turbines, replace it immediately with another, and immediately return it to the water. We'll take that third turbine that we removed and take it to be checked out in our depot to, look at wear and tear, refurbishment requirements, just learn what we might about the use of the of the turbine and what kinds of improvements. This, that, is, a, this is the first ever, correct? This has never been done. This, this has never been done on a tri-frame like this. We have previously been in the water, but not on a single tri-frame with multiple turbines. So after the uh, completion of the six-month Re removal, the re re retrieve and replace. Uh, we'll put the turbine back into the water, the tri-frame back into the water with three turbines and uh, operate it for a further six months and then that'll be a full year and the project will be complete. How much uh, power can you bring out of this? What, is, what will it do? Well, the purpose of this is not really to be measured in power terms. This is a demonstration of the technology because from this technology, once we prove that we've accomplished our, our objectives and we've achieved our metrics, we will go from what is a five meter rotor, a five meter diameter rotor, to a 10 meter diameter rotor. And that will be the product that we will sell into the global markets. We're an American company, but we address the global markets. Our markets are very international. What's the environmental impact? The environmental impact is, is nominal. Fish, uh, there's concern often expressed about fish kill, but we've demonstrated in studies that fish swim around the turbines. Uh, they have more they, sense than you think, huh? <laughs> they have more sense than you think. Those, those that don't, uh, Darwin can say something about it. So. And what about the future? This Say this works out and 10 years down the road, where are we? Ten years down the road, we are in league with solar and wind and biomass. We believe that it is not our technology versus solar and wind, for example. There is such a climate crisis that there is room for all of the above, and we will be very prominent in that all of the above measure. Thank you very much, John. You're welcome.